was early in the 8th century. Mandarava was a princess in a country called Zahor, in what is now northern India. She was determined to dedicate her life to the most profound spiritual teachings and to not be bound by the responsibilities that were traditionally expected of a princess. One night, Mandarava had an amazing dream. A luminous emanation of the Buddha was up on the mountain above her sanctuary. He was magnetizing her to ascend the mountain and meet him, calling to her in her thoughts and imagination. He said he would teach her how to become a Buddha in this very lifetime. Her father, the king, was enraged and had Mandarava arrested. She was thrown into a pit lined with thorns. And she was imprisoned. And uh, uh, the king ordered that you'll be put in, in this dungeon for the next 25 years. The second Buddha, Padma Sambhava, allowed the king's guards to seize and bind him. They put a noose around his neck and clubbed him. And he was made to sit on the pile of the wooden straits and put lots of oil in it. <laughs> and Guru Rinpoche was burned alive. So the oil, everything turned into water and in and in the middle of the lake is the pistol stream of a lotus. And sitting on the lotus is a Guru Rinpoche. And surrounded by Dakinis. Years passed, and when the time came, Padmasambhava and Mandarava departed for Nepal to perform long life practice in the sacred caves of Maratika. Mandarava is uh, considered a very uh, important consort of Guru um, Padmasambhava for obtaining that uh, long life practice. And, uh, this is the history of Maratika, why then Maratika is becoming an important place. Then I had this, uh, through my dream, uh, the uh, teaching of the Mandarava, which we are doing. And later then I understood also that uh, become very important for my life. For that reason, I am giving also these teachings for my students. Yeah, you were, you managed to take pictures of Rinpoche, otherwise Rinpoche wouldn't let anyone to take pictures when he's traveling in the States. <laughs> yeah, in last last visit was in 2007 to the States. With Brazil, even Brazil he went, in Canada, and he visited 40, 46 centers across the states. And all the, you know, the, the, the Dharma centers, the representative or the cameraman, they said, okay, they insist on taking pictures, and he wouldn't let anyone to take pictures. <laughs>